Hey guys, it's Nick here from Technodot and today we're going to talk all about SaaS and basically what SaaS is. Now in this uh, video, we're going to take a quick introduction on SaaS and for later videos, we're going to talk all about SaaS and go in depth for them. So let's uh, get started with what SaaS is. Now SaaS is simple CSS preprocessor and what if, if you don't understand what is preprocessor, it's simply uh, add extra features or superpowers to your CSS and makes your life easy writing CSS because it's it doesn't consume much time to write SAS rather than CSS. So before we install SAS, I just wanted to make clear it it is not a replacement to the CSS. It is not a replacement. Uh, you cannot in link SCSS or SCSS files into your HTML DOM and get the result. It's it's not possible because your browser cannot understand SAS or SCSS files. Uh, you have to put it through a compiler and get CSS files and which you can link to your HTML and that's gonna work. Let's take a look on some quick features that SAS allow you to write. Now, uh, SAS allows you to create variables. Uh, what it is, you can see simply give a value to uh, a variable uh, and then just use uh, wherever you want uh, once you want to change it change this and it's going to change to all over the place you use the variable and that's a quick f example of JavaScript variables that's what uh, the same thing up here standing that in just we use CSS variables and it's something new if you never uh, use SAS or CSS CSS no uh, nesting is one of my favorite features uh, because if uh, you if you want to write this uh, as normal CSS, it takes time. You can have to create nav URL li, and uh, in simple C as SAS for SAS, you just have to write nav, and inside that, uh, we can simply uh, nest in one inside the other. So in uh, we nested URL inside the nav and put it up here. And after compiling, we're just gonna get uh, this, but uh, we don't have to worry about writing this, right? we just have to write uh, the nested version and compiler gonna do its work. Now there, um, there are a lot of uh, features that SAS uh, allows you to provide like import and extend makes sense uh, and uh, even it allows you to uh, do calculation in your CSS files. So it's simply like you can create, divide uh, some uh, equations and put it in equation it's gonna give you a final output in, uh, in this CSS file. So and that's all to it. It's gonna get help. It's it will be helpful if uh, you are doing a heavy project or a huge project. So let's get in going and see how to install SAS on your computer, right? So let's take a look on how to install SAS on your computer. Now to install SAS, uh, Windows user or Linux user, you have to install Ruby first. And uh, once you come on this link, uh, which will be in the description, just in click on Ruby install which will take you to the rubyinstaller.org. Just download uh, the latest version and that's all you're good to go. Uh, Mac user, you don't have to worry about it because Ruby is pre-installed on Macs. Uh, so you don't have to worry about anything. Now, to install SAS, you just simply uh, open the command prompt or Mac user, open your terminals. So to uh, Windows user, to open your command prompt, um, just uh, start run and hit CMD to OK. Uh, Mac users, I don't know uh, how to open terminal because I never used Mac, so sorry for that. And let's get it going quick. Now to check whether we have Ruby installed, just type Ruby hyphen uh, space hyphen V, and which is going to give you the uh, the version of Ruby you install. And I'm, I installed the Ruby version 2.1.5 and so on. Now let's uh, install SAS. Now to install SAS, you just have to write simply gem install. SAS and hit enter. Now I'm not going to install because I already installed the latest version of SAS uh, recently. Mm, now once you install SAS to check out which version you have or you you install SAS correctly, just type SSS space hyphen V, which is going to give you the uh, version of SAS you installed. So I installed SAS version 3.4.13, a selective Steve, which is the latest version of the SAS. Now let's take a look on. Uh, how to uh, create CSS file from a SAS files, right? Now to create CSS files from a SAS files, you just have to simply go in your command prompt. Or if you don't have enough knowledge about how to use command prompt, it's uh, easy. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. Just remember this. And to change your directory, 
uh, hit, uh, just enter CD and your directory address and if if you want to check uh, the files which are present in the current directory just hit dir and which is going to give you all the links uh, sorry all the f folders you have in your directory at present so i'm just going to go over like uh, i'm going to go to desktop where my file is so i'm going to write cd desktop hit enter so I'm so I'm going to go on my desktop and I'm going to write uh, sas hyphen hyphen watch uh, file dot sas as css colon and uh, I'm going to type the file which I want. I'm going to file dot css. Uh, you can write any name you want and hit enter. So see how it says sas is watching for changes. Press Control C to stop and uh, I have. Uh, uh, file uh, CSS just currently created by it and I, I can open it uh, see there's nothing in both the files because they both are empty I'm gonna give you a quick example about SAS just, I'm gonna create a variable and uh, to create a variable it's simple just followed by the dollar sign just create a variable name and give colon and the variable value so like I'm gonna give it a red and in, in, I'm gonna go like inside the body and inside the body I just add color um, right. I'm sorry, forgot uh, the variable name. And what it's gonna do is simple. And so if I say, see uh, how variable value, uh, how variable name is actually replaced by its value in the actual CSS compile. So uh, it's it's a good, it's a handy feature in uh, using SAS in your projects. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna go in depth all about SAS in a later on part. I'm gonna take one topic at a time. So that's it guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.